No one knows how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe, maybe it's because wolves, well, they eat cute little animals like bunnies and rabbits and sheep and even pigs. That's just the way they are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think people were big and bad too. But the whole big bad thing, it's all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. Way back in Once Upon a Time Time, our friend the wolf was making a birthday cake for his dear granny. He had a terrible sneezing cold. He had run out of sugar, so he walked down the street to ask his neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, his neighbor was the pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe who in his right mind would build a house out of straw? So, of course, the minute the wolf knocked on the door, it fell right in, and he didn't just want to walk into someone else's house. So he called, Little pig, little pig, are you in? There was no answer. He was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for his dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when his nose started to itch. <laughs> he felt a sneeze coming. Well, he huffed, and he snuffed, and he sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down, and in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been in the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good dinner lying there in the straw. So the wolf ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. He was feeling a little better, but he didn't have his cup of sugar. So he went to the next neighbor's house. This neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house out of sticks. The wolf rang the doorbell on the stick house. Nobody answered. He called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, Go away, wolf! You can't come in! I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin! <clears throat> he had grabbed the doorknob when he felt another sneeze coming. He huffed, and he snuffed, and he tried to cover his mouth, but he sneezed a great sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell, house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second pig, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. Now you know, food will spoil if you leave it out in the open. So the wolf did the only thing there was to do. He had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. Now the wolf was getting awfully full, but his cold was feeling a little better. But he still didn't have that cup of sugar for his dear old granny's birthday cake. The wolf went to the next house. This guy was the first and second pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house out of bricks. The wolf knocked on the out brick house. No answer. Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And you know what the little porker answered? <clears throat> Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me again. <clears throat> Talk about impolite. <clears throat> he probably had a whole sack full of sugar and wouldn't give the wolf even one little cup of sugar for a sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. The wolf was just about to go home and make a nice birthday card instead of a birthday cake when he felt his cold coming on again. He huffed and he snuffed <laughs> And he sneezed once again. Now, the third little pig yelled, And your old granny can sit on a pin! The wolf was usually a pretty cool fellow, but when he heard somebody talk about his dear, sweet old granny like that, he went a little crazy. 
When the cops drove up, of course, he was trying to break down Miss Pig's door. And the whole time, the wolf was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs he had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all that huff and puff and blow your house down stuff. And they made him the big bad wolf. That's it. The real story. The wolf was framed. But maybe you could loan him a cup of sugar.